The following case study was done at a fiber optics manufacturing plant. A soldering station was identified in an area of concern using an ESD event detector. The event detector emits an audible beep every time its antenna senses an electrostatic discharge event nearby. At the soldering station, three tasks are performed. First, parts are loaded into the jig. Next, the flex circuit is soldered to the part. Okay. Finally, the parts are ejected by placing the holder onto a base. Each of the three tasks created ESD events. The event monitor showed unusual bursts of activity of a sort not seen from static sources alone. Ted suspected grounding problems. One test he performed was to repeatedly make contact between the jig and the holder. With static charge, the two metal objects will quickly equalize in voltage, and after a few contacts, the amplitude of the discharge will drop below the detection threshold. Note that Ted is able to make contact over a dozen times with no drop in detectable signal amplitude. This implies that the part has a source of voltage that is able to recharge the part after each contact. Here, Ted demonstrates continuous discharges using an ESD resistance meter. When he turns on the meter, it acts as a 100 volt voltage source. Since it has a built-in power supply, it is able to return the probe to the same voltage after each ESD event, and so is able to continue to create events with no reduction in amplitude over time. Suspecting inadequate grounding, Ted looks at the soldering workstation. It has rubber insulators beneath it and is electrically connected using a drag chain. Such chains are always problematic and are not recommended for this type of application. Ted directs the engineers to make a hard wire connection between the static dissipative mat and the table ground. This eliminates the main problem and reduces the number of ESD events by more than 95%. He subsequently identified the voltage source charging the platform as the fluorescent microscope illuminators, which are not properly grounded. Ted sets to work to eliminate the remaining ESD events. He checks the wrist strap connection. He has found this type of wristband used to often be intermittent. When the metal base is making direct contact to the skin, grounding is efficient. However, when it pulls away from the skin, older wrist straps often have poor electrical conductivity. Ted gives the operator a new wrist strap, and the new one passes test even when the metal base is pulled away. ESD events are further reduced by this improvement. To solve the remaining issues observed, Ted first moves the ionizers out to place them more directly over the work area. Then, he suspects the gloves may be an issue. Oh, yeah. These gloves have adequate electrical conductivity, but still generate significant tribal charge when compared with bare skin or cotton gloves. He is able to solve the problem either by eliminating the gloves or by grounding the solder wire. Charge generated when the hand rubs against the solder can now be efficiently removed. With these changes complete, all ESD events have been eliminated and the operation is now discharge free.